Hi everyone, I'm at the indoor garden grocery store today and growing an indoor garden, especially in the winter time, can change your life. It might be too cold to grow outside, you've got fresh tasty vegetables growing that can scratch that garden itch and really beat the winter blues away. And you can do this. Fresh tasty veggies right at your fingertips. We've got some microgreens. We've got fresh herbs to flavor our food. We have some salad greens. We even have a little tomato plant. Super easy to set up. And today what I'm going to show you is how to use your microgreens. Three different ways, breakfast, lunch, and dinner that take less than five minutes to prepare. The best part about it is it's just about 10 steps away from my kitchen. Let's go make us some fresh, tasty food. When you're growing your indoor garden, the key to success is to really keep it simple. And microgreens are definitely one of the easiest things you can start with. They're little greens that are harvested at about two inches tall. They're grown from any easy to germinate seed, arugula, broccoli, kale. So go back and watch the indoor garden series all the way from the beginning so you know exactly how to get yours planted. So first off, we're gonna harvest some microgreens. We're gonna wash them up and then we're gonna make our breakfast today. So these are arugula microgreens planted about a week ago. That's the beauty of microgreens. You can harvest them in about seven to 10 days and they're absolutely delicious. Power packed with nutrition and flavor and you're gonna absolutely love growing your own microgreens. So to harvest them, I'm just grabbing a bunch here. I'm snipping them at the base at soil level. These are little tiny ones. These ones over here are a little bit larger. Here we've got, I believe we've got some kale microgreens. So again, I'm going to harvest a little bunch. And I like to harvest them as I use them so they're nice and fresh. If your microgreens get a little bit bigger, no big deal. They're still just as fresh and tasty. Now what I'm going to do is just give them a quick little rinse in the sink just to get any soil off them. And then just put them here on my towel to dry. Our first recipe is a quick and simple breakfast recipe. Camera guy and I love eating scrambled eggs for breakfast. So I just scrambled up four eggs. I put them here on the plate. And it's just so much fun to grab fresh, tasty, healthy greens. Know that you're eating healthy and you're using your garden fresh goodness on your recipes. So all we have to do here is, first of all, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of feta cheese on my eggs because my philosophy is everything's better with feta. And then we're just gonna spread our microgreens out over our eggs. Got some little arugula microgreens in there. I like to use a couple of different kinds of microgreens. These are the kale microgreens. Since these are a little bit bigger, I'm just gonna snip off the greens. And there we go, our fresh, breakfast right from the indoor garden grocery store, five minutes or less. And you can do this too. Camera guy, are you hungry? <laughs> yeah. Well, come get some breakfast. I could always eat. This is so good. It's so fun to eat from the garden grocery store for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, this is the fun part of Great the job. Great way to start the day, huh? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Mac will get it. So much flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Super tasty, and it feels really good knowing mm -hmm. that we're healthy. Mm-hmm. Being Having a healthy breakfast. Right, have another bite. Mm. It's hard to stop eating these microgreens. Okay, back on the camera. Okay, now microgreens are super expensive in the grocery store, but you can literally grow them for pennies. So now I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to make your lunch. On the lunch menu today is soup and a sandwich. Nothing better, in my opinion, than a nice warm bowl of soup on a cold winter day. So I've got some chicken tortilla soup heated up here, and it's so much fun to add microgreens to your soup. I've got my stiffed microgreens here. And all I have to do is just sprinkle it over the top. A nice, healthy, power-packed lunch and adds a really good zip to your soup. Now what I'm gonna to do to go along with my soup is make a little sandwich. Now, I'm not a big bread eater, so I like to make wraps. This is a kale from the garden. If you don't have kale, no, I'm sorry, this is a chard from the garden. If you don't have chard or kale growing, just grab yourself a piece of bread and make this into a sandwich. So I love to put a little bit of extra protein, I'm gonna spread some hummus on my uh, greens here. So chard and kale grow really nicely outdoors in the winter. They'll take a frost, so it's a really great winter green to grow. Got some hummus spread on there, and I'm gonna add a couple pieces of lunch meat here. This is ham. 
So the great thing about this is you can really customize it to whatever you have growing, whatever you like to eat. If you're vegetarian, you can omit the, the meat there. And then I actually need a few more little snips of microgreens here. This time I'm gonna grab some red mustard microgreens. So it's really fun to grow a variety of microgreens so you can have different flavor profiles to your meals. But you can see it's just minutes to prepare. I'm gonna sprinkle this on top of my wrap. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of something in there to punch the flavor up a little bit. This is actually an orange that we harvested right before Thanksgiving. And I'm just gonna squeeze some of the orange juice onto my wrap so it makes it nice and healthy. This is almost an entirely garden fresh lunch here. And then what I'm gonna do is just roll it up, take the stem off, I'm gonna make my little wrap. And we've got our garden fresh lunch. Camera guy, give it another taste. Not a problem, I'm on it. Now, Jerry, why don't you try the yes. sandwich? I'm gonna try the mm. soup. I absolutely love soup here. Oh my gosh, it's so garden fresh in every little bite, and it really punches up the flavor and the nutrition of your meal here. There are so many different flavors as you bite through this. Super quick and garden fresh lunch, you can't mm -hmm. beat it. Now, it's time for dinner. We've got our three S's, our scrambled eggs for breakfast, our sandwich and soup for lunch, and then our salad is for dinner. Now the cool thing about a microgreen salad is you can really customize it to whatever you like, whatever types of greens you have growing. For this one, I'm gonna use some of the larger greens, um, the microgreens that I didn't harvest when they were young. They're gonna be perfect in the salad, but you can also use really small microgreens as well. And these are radish microgreens. So they're gonna have a nice, nice zippy taste. Just throw them on my plate. And because I like, do like a lot of flavors and textures in my salads, I'm also gonna grab a little handful of kale microgreens. And then we can't forget the red mustard microgreens. Really punches up the flavor when you have a lot of different types of greens in your salad. So you can make a large entree salad for your dinner and add whatever you happen to have growing either in the garden or what you have in the house. These I just harvested from the outdoor garden still giving me a few little tiny cherry tomatoes. So I'm just gonna to top my salad with those. And then we're gonna add a little bit of protein to my salad here by throwing on a little handful of black beans. So if you've got chicken, you can throw chicken on, you can throw some of your ham lunch meat on. Just dig through your fridge and use whatever you have. And this literally, as you can see, takes about five minutes to prepare. It's so pretty and garden fresh. You just really can't beat it from the indoor garden grocery store. Of course, we got to top it with just a little bit of feta cheese. Really punch up the flavor. And then I like to do a really quick and simple and fresh dressing. We're going to squeeze a little bit of orange juice on here from my garden fresh oranges. If you've got lemons or limes, that'll work too. And then just a little dab of olive oil. If you've got garden fresh herbs in your indoor garden grocery store, you can throw those on top. And then we're gonna to top it with some fresh ground pepper. Oh, I can get used to this on every shoot. Yeah, it's dinner time now. Garden fresh, right from the garden grocery store, just 10 steps away from the kitchen. Wow, delicious. I love the sweetness of the orange. Just make it to taste and make it to whatever you have growing in your own indoor garden grocery store. I think I'm spilling more than I'm eating, but it is good. Mm. I got a great comment this week from Terry in Ohio. And Terry said, their garden has been shut down for two months already because of the cold, and they're not gonna be able to get outside to garden for about six more months because of the winter. However, you can still grow fresh, tasty veggies inside, even during the winter time. So here's what I want you to do. Make the choice, grow your indoor garden. Let me know down below what you're gonna do I'm going to be reading the comments. Now here's what I'm going to do for you to help you get started. 20% off over at CaliKimGardenAndHome.com, site-wide, and that includes the microgreen seed collection, the indoor garden seed collection so you can grow indoors with me, and I'm also going to throw in a free Bring on the Pollinators Cool Season Flower Collection 
so you can get some cool season flowers planted first thing in the spring. Everything you need to know to grow your indoor garden is in the video description, and subscribe to our channel if you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.